Di kumtona wabandu, di mameleni, di buile mtona sekaya, mdo sekaya. Yay! Let's get started, man. I'm Hamish, but a lot of people. No, my name is mtona wabandu, di buile. Okay, let's get started, man. So now, if you face time here, make sure you come right here. Subscribe, okay? So next time, you don't miss it, okay? Now, let's get started. So they give a question here, question number one. They say, simplify. So, so I'm gonna show you the very simple trick, okay? This trick is very, very important. So this is a little trick here. Say, board mass, board mass, board mass. So if you have a, uh, a lot of expression of a number, so you have a plus, multiplication, power, divide, bracket, whatever. So you come and you follow this tricky right here, okay? Which tricky is a board mass. Board means start with a bracket, always you have start from the left. So you have to look, do you have a bracket? Let's look. Do you have a bracket? Oh yes, we have a bracket. So we have to start simplify anything within a bracket. So that's what you have to start with. And when you're done with the bracket, you go, you have a division. So you don't start multiply or addition or subtract before you finish this. So you have to look all throughout. Like, do I have a bracket? Do I have a division? Do I have a multiplication? Do I have addition? Do I have subtraction? You understand what I'm saying? So now, do you have a bracket? Yes, you have a bracket. Means you have this bracket here. So we need to deal with this one here. But inside the bracket, there's something also, there's another expression. But this expression has got a lot of sign also. You have to look at. Do you have a division here inside? Yes, we have a division. So what division? So you must go with the flow. Division, yes. What is division? Six divided by three equal to two. Oh, so it's like here in the bracket, we're gonna have a nine minus six divided by three equal to two so you must start with the division phase okay now we go inside this bracket do you have a multiplication no there's no multiplication do you have addition no there's no addition do you have subtraction yes we do have nine minus two equal to seven but here outside you have a bracket so seven power two this is small number power so if somebody say for example three Square three square is like three times the same number because it's square. So if this number three means you must multiply this number same number by three times. If let's say seven, let's say seven power four. What does that mean? It means take this seven multiply by itself, by itself, by itself four times. So this seven say seven times seven times seven times seven. So for this case, it is seven square. That means it's seven say seven. Times seven. Seven times seven equal to forty-nine. Oh, so all this stuff with a square equal to forty-nine means when you start all the way, the answer is going to be forty. Seven times seven equal to forty-nine. Oh, so all this stuff here equal to forty-nine. So I'm going to erase that and write forty-nine. Okay, so this is forty-nine there. So we're going to write forty-nine. We're not going to write that stuff anymore. So here's forty-nine. Okay, so we're done. Now we come. Do you have another bracket? No, because you have to look everywhere. Do you have another bracket here? No. Do you have division? Oh, yes. Where's division? Division is this number here, means this term here. We need to deal with it. You see what I'm saying? It means 2 power 4 divided by 8. But what is 2 power 4? We know, we just did it now. 2 power 4 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 equals 4, 4 times 2 equals 6, uh, 8, 8 times 2 equals 16. Oh, so this stuff is 16. So 16 divided by 8, 16 divided by 8, we get 2. Oh, so all this stuff here, if I'm not going to write, we're going to get what? We're going to write 2 here. Inside of everything, um, if I have to uh, substitute, and then I'm going to write 2 here. So this is, let me say, 2. So what do I have now? And here we have a minus. Our oh, minus is still there. So we have a 7. Now we go. Do you have another division? No, another division. Do you have a multiplication? Yes, we do have. What is multiplication? Uh, 3 times 2. 3 times 2 equal to 6. Oh, 6. So now if I have to remove this, I'm going to write 6 here. Okay. So now we go. Oh, so now we go. Do you have a multiplication again? No other multiplication. Do you have addition? Yes, we have addition. 7 plus 6 equal to 13. Okay. So if I'm not going to write this, I'll write 13. And they'll have a minus 49. 13 minus 49 equal to minus 36. 
So for the whole expression, when you simplify, the answer is minus 36. Our final answer equal to minus 36. So our final answer for the first question equals minus 36. Minus 36 is the answer for the first question. Okay, minus 36. Minus 36, excuse me. Minus 36, okay? So this is minus 36, the first question. Minus 36. Now we go for the second question. The second question is more easy, actually. This, this question you can just do quickly in a minute. Now, okay. Okay, cool. Now, the second question, they say A, the value of A equal to negative 3, value of B equal to 4, value of C equal to negative 5. Then, how much is the product of A, B, C? Product means, when you say product, means take something, multiply with another thing. Okay? Is greater than the sum of. Okay. So, take the value of A, B, and C, multiply all of them, and they see. And then take the sum of A, B, and C, and then C, which is greater than. Take this, how much is the A, B, C is greater than the A plus B plus C. Now, how are we going to do it? Now, first and foremost, let me find the products of this. So, if somebody say A, B, C, they say here product. Product means A, you multiply by B, multiply by C. Product meaning multiplication. Okay, you multiply. So, now we're going to say the value of A we know. So, this time we say... Value of A, we know A equal to negative 3. So if I'm not going to write this A, I'm going to write negative 3. Negative 3. And then they say product means multiply. We go with other value of B. What the value of B? B equal to 4. And then product again, multiply by C. What is a C? C equal to negative 5. C equal to negative 5. So let's find the value of this. Now we go. Negative 3 times 4 equal to negative 12. Negative 12 times negative 5 equal to? Negative positive 60. So this is equal to positive 60. Now we go for, so we start their face for the face party. Now, so we cannot know how much is it is greater than the other one if we don't know the value of other. Just like somebody say, hey, Mtuan Awaban, how, how old are you greater than me? So how I'm going to find out how old I am, am I greater than you if I don't know your age means I need to know your age. You understand what I'm saying? So same here. For me to determine how this is greater than the other one, I need to find the value of A, B, C. So the value of A, B, C means, they say here plus A. What the value of A? A equal to negative 3 means instead of this say A, you say negative 3 means we replace this A. Plus, plus, B. What is B? B equal to 4. B equal to 4. Plus C. C equal to negative 5. C equal to negative 5. So now what we're going to do, we're going to add them together. Negative 3 plus 4 equal to positive 1. And here we have a plus and minus 5. But a plus and minus 5, it gives us minus. When the sign is different, you give it minus. Plus and minus is always a minus. So 1 minus 5. So 1 minus 5 equal to negative 4. Okay. So now, A plus B plus C equal to minus 4. Oh. So A plus B plus C equal to minus 4. But uh, look, let me ask you a question now, for example. Okay. Look at me here, right? Let's say, uh, um, let's say, let's say for example, I'm 10 years old, okay? And you're three years old. So how old are, how, uh, let's say I've got $10. You have a $10 and you have $3, okay? How much do I have a greater or bigger than you? Means I have to take my $10 minus your $4 or $3. Then I'm gonna know, oh, so I have a $7 more than you or greater than you you see what i'm saying so now if you go back to the question really carefully they say how much is this greater than the other one means we would have to take this abc minus the other one so what is that abc this is 60. so we say 60 minus but when you minus this value here is negative four remember you minus but this value is negative four so this is going to give us positive 64. So our answer is positive 64. Or in other way, if you write your number line, look, let's say you got your number line like this. This is zero, let's say. Okay, the first one is negative 4 here, you see? A plus B plus C equal to negative 4. But the other one, which is A plus B, the product is, is 64. So how much this is bigger than this? Because they say 
how much the product of ABC is greater than A plus B. Okay, now, from here to there, from, because they say product of this is greater than, means from here, how big are these from there? Look, this is 64, and this 4, you give us all. Means if you have to walk from here all the way, means the size of the steps is 64, positive. So the answer is positive 64. So for the second question, this equal to 64 positive. So A plus B plus C is greater by 64 than. So this answer. So now let's go for the last question. Let's go to the last question. Sorry guys. Let's go to the last question. Okay, cool. Let's go to the last question. So the last question, this is simplify. We're going to have to simplify this. And after we simplify, we have to pick either of these four, which is the correct answer. So let me show you, man. This is very easy. Look, so I'm going to take this expression, which is 2, 2 over x, minus 5, minus 5, over 6, plus 3 over x, so first and foremost, uh, you see we have a numerator. Numerator is the number on top, and denominator is the number at the bottom. So what we're going to do, I'm going to simplify the one on top, and then when I finish, I'll simplify the one at the bottom, and then I will see what in the final. So first and foremost, you see this is a fraction, but this is not a fraction. So I'm going to have to write this in fraction. So for me, writing fraction, look, if you have a 10, and if you say 10 over 1, what is 10 over 1? 10 over 1 is a 10. So it doesn't make any difference. So the same thing. 10 and 10 over 1 is the same thing. So I'm going to say this. If 10 divided by 1 equals 10. If you write 10, it's the same thing. So I'm going to say this is like 5 over 1. It didn't make any difference because 5 over 1 equals 2, 5. Same here, I'll say this 6 over 1. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the one at the numerator. Means let me simplify this first and I'll go for this one. So how you simplify the one on top? Look, you find the common denominator. So I'll take this one. Start with this face, multiply by that. You only do that if your sign here is plus or minus. You don't do that if it's multiplication, okay? Um, I'm gonna attach my other video there at uh, the bottom, and I have a division, multiplication, subtraction, fraction that you can learn, okay? So now I'm gonna say, start with this, one times two, or whatever is here, multiply by that. So one times two equal two, for this case, Okay, now, now minus, minus, x times 5 is 5x, five and then when you finish, you multiply these two, x times 1 equal to x, so we're done with the one on top, so we do the same thing at the bottom, at the bottom we do the same thing, the same approach, now you take this with that, x times 6 equals 6x, is plus, so you have to write plus, now you come here, 1 times 3 equals 2, 3, and then you over, multiply these two, 1 times x equals to x. So now look, since you have a two group here, the first group is this divided by this, and the second group is this one divided by this. Since this denominator for both group, you see the, this group on top and the group at the bottom. See the denominator are the same, so what I'm going to do is just cancel and cancel because it's the same. It's acceptable. So what you're going to be left with is this group here, which is 2 minus 5x, and another one. Another one is 6x plus 3. So what I'm going to do now, uh, so you do and then you look here, okay, which one is kind of similar a little bit. So this one it cannot be, you can see it's obvious now. So it's kind of look like, but I'm not done yet. So you have something common here, look, there's a 3, okay, if somebody give, let's say, a 5x minus 15, let's say. So what you do, you can factorize. So how do you factorize? You look at number which is common for both. Which number is common for both here? Look, 
If 5, 8 and 15, the number which you have a common for both group is 5. So I can take 5 out. If I take 5 out, I'm going to be left with x here. And then minus. If I take 5 out from 15, I'll be left with 3. What does that mean? Look, if you take this 15, divide by 5, you get 3. If you take the 5x, divide by x, you get 5. That's the meaning of factorization. You know what I'm saying? So look, if you multiply in, if you have this, when you multiply in, when you open the bracket, it must give you the same thing. 5 times x, 5x. Minus, minus. 5 times 3, 15. Can you see? That's how you factorize. When you factorize, you must be able to take it back. So if you look careful here, the number we can take for both here is 3, because 3 is common for 6x, and 3 is common for 3. X, is x common? No, because here there's an x, there's no x. So you should take a number which is common for both. So now on top here, we don't have any number which is common for both, because 2 and 5, it doesn't share any number which is common. So the one on top, I'm going to write the way how it is. But at the one at the bottom, we see I can take 3, I can take 3, because 3 is common. So now I'm going to take 3. If I take 3 here from 6x, means like take this, divide by... So, sorry, I was going to say 3, I wrote 2, my apologies. If I take 3 here, it's like 6 divided by 3, you get 2. And then you have your x and the plus. If you take this 3, when you take up, it's like you divide. Take this 3 divided by 3, you get 1. So this is your final answer. So if you look careful, this is your final answer. Option 4. You see what I'm saying? Ni? Ebi, le mgani wam, we bon. Ebi, le baduba. It's finished, man. So if you face time here, make sure you subscribe right here, okay? For more video, man. Easy, man. We out.